Welcome back game developers, today we are going to be creating a simple yet realistic aim offset for our first person character. This will also work if you are trying to create an aim offset for your third person character, but in this tutorial it will be catered for realism within the first person character. Compared to my other recent tutorials, this one will be short and sweet and you guys should have an aim offset in no time. Also it will be really appreciated if you guys could like, subscribe, and comment down below more videos you guys would like to see in the future. Before we get started, if you guys would like to support me, get all the files you're seeing today and from every other tutorial I've done, get early access to videos as well as see your name along with the other people here, I have a link for my Patreon down below. Alright, with that being said, let's get right into the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is navigate to where your idle animation for your character is. So for mine, it will be in first person, extras, characters, mannequins, into animations, many, and then here I have my mm underscore idle animation right here. And this is my idle animation for my character. Basically, I'm going to want to bring this to a different place just so we can have all of our aim offset animations in one spot. So what I'll do is I'll go to my animations folder. We will right click and we will, once it pops up, we're going to create a new folder right here. We're going to create a folder and it's going to be called aim underscore offset. Great. Now that I have that, I'll now get right back to my Manny folder where my mm underscore idle is. And I will drag that right into aim offset. I'll move here. And once it's here, now I want to duplicate this. So just like so and call this AO for aim offset underscore look forward and essentially this will be our easiest aim offset position it's just going to be the normal position which is just looking forward let's scroll down on the left and we want to change our additive anim type to be mesh space and change this um base pose type from being skeleton reference pose to being skeleton animated scaled after this we're going to want to change our base pose animation to our mm underscore idle or whatever idle animation you are using. After this, pause the timer, go all the way to the beginning and right click and remove from frame one to frame 228. Once you have that, I would recommend removing again, just so you only have zero to one right here. You can see there's one right here and zero in the beginning. Great, so now we have this, we can save and we can close this. Let's duplicate the AO underscore look forward and make AO underscore look down. So now this one will be a little bit different. Let's open this one up. It'll have the same settings on the left and also you can pause this. Don't worry if it shutters like this. You can if you want to right click and remove frame from one to two, but it'll kind of do the same exact thing. But don't worry, we won't actually see this in our actual aim offset. So same thing, make sure down here that this is the exact same, but we're going to want to go to our skeleton tree and change our rotation of our spine so that it actually looks like we're looking down. So I recommend going to spine one or spine one, spine two, or spine three to do this rotation. Um, I'm going to pick spine two because I figured that one actually looks the best. So basically we're going to rotate it um, whatever degrees you want to, depending on how you want your look down to look. I found that for my case scenario, doing 45 right there is a pretty good look down for spine two, hmm, maybe, maybe 50. Right there seems about good. Um, having 47 on this rotation and so once I'm done and I found my right position All I have to do is press this key up here and make sure that you save again Once you have this you can close it and if you look at it, you'll see in the preview thumbnail There is a looking down um, little animation right there or base pose uh, We're going to want to do the same exact thing So go off of AO underscore look forward duplicate it again and call it AO underscore look up Similarly to how we did before we want to pause Make sure that we go all the way to the beginning, right click, remove frame one to two. And if you still see this little stuttering, remember it's okay. And let's go to the left, make sure that our additive anim type is all mesh space, selected animation scale and mm underscore idle. Then let's go to skeleton tree and make our spine to rotate upward basically. So now we're going to want to make sure that it's looking up at the sky to whatever degree we would like to. I'm gonna go to spine two and make it go about 40 degrees. I think this is a good, animation offset so now you'll see that at this value we just have to go to key press the plus icon and now it will save this value um, as a key you can see additive layers it basically just adds this spine rotation onto our character and our animation based on the fact whether we have our pitch at that degree or not all right so let's save this let's close this and now we have all of our different states for look forward look up and look down we're just going to want to now get an aim offset and actually use these so let's right click let's go to animation and go down to legacy until you see aim offset 1D. 1D because we're only going to have it in one dimension, which is just our pitch value. So let's go into here and select whatever skeleton you're using. For my case scenario, I'm just using SK underscore mannequin because it's UE5. 
we can click on that and call this AO underscore look around. So now that we have this, let's open it up and dock it into our menu. On the left, we're going to want to make sure that our horizontal axis right here is named pitch and that the minimum value is negative 90 versus 90 and that everything else is the same, but it's going to be negative 90 for when you're looking down to 90 when you're looking up. Now, if you go down, we're going to want to make sure our preview base pose is the mm underscore idle. So right here, we're going to have our preview base pose and we're going to then want to make sure that we actually utilize the animations and poses we just made. So in the middle, we're going to want AO underscore look forward. And if you don't know if it's actually in the middle and it's annoying you trying to get it to the exact middle position, you can always click on this and make sure you set the pose right here to zero. So now it's in the middle. We're going to then want to make sure that we have the AO underscore look down in the leftmost. Because like I said previously, negative 90 would mean that we are looking down. And if you want to make sure that it works, you can do this and you can start to see the animation that's going to be happening on our mesh. So you can see that's the animation blending between the idle state and the look down state. Now we're going to make sure that we add our look up all the way to the end on pitch 90. So then when we go between idle and look up, it looks something like this. And you can always test this to make sure this is exactly what you like and test out your animation um, and your rotations to make sure this fits your game or your project. Now that we have this, we're just going to want to save and close this and navigate to our anim underscore bp so in our case the first person has our anim underscore bp we can simply go to our bp underscore first person and then once we're on our bp underscore first person we can always go to our anim graph from there um if you know exactly where it is in your project then you don't have to worry about that but it can just be found right here in our anim class since quinn is a child of manny we just need to go to manny in order to control everything now that we're in manny let's go to our anim graph and let's drag this over right here right before it goes to the output pose, we're going to want to hook up our AO underscore look around. So this base pose is what's gonna go right into this result. So we can just keep it like this. The alpha value is one value that we're going to keep the same. And also if you see this no entries match the search or all this stuff right here, it'll keep popping up for everything you go over. You can simply get rid of that by going to preview instance and no debug. So now it will make it so none of that happens. It's just kind of like a regular blueprint graph. So it makes it a little bit more viewable for us. Let's keep it like this. The alpha, like I said, will stay the exact same, but let's make sure that our pitch is something that changes so we can right click on it and promote to variable. The pitch is basically what we were changing previously with the spine rotation. Dependent on the value that we give it, it will look up or look down. Event graph, we will be able to control all of that pitch. So let's go to our event graph now into our event blueprint update animation and make sure that um, if yours doesn't look the same as mine, that's perfectly fine. We're just going to want to be putting it into this sequence of our animation. So let's go right here. I'll go up to my then five. It could be your first node. It doesn't really matter. We'll go off of this and we will get a reroute node just to make it look a little bit clearer in my case. The reroute doesn't really matter just to make it look more clear. We're then going to get the try get pawn owner and this is basically going to make it so we can get the pawn that we actually have and then off of this we're going to get a handy function that unreal provides for us which is get base aim rotation now this aim rotation we can it comes as a rotator which is a variable that has three different inputs so we can right click on it and split it we only need this pitch so if we move it and make it look a little bit nicer what we can do is we can test this and i'm going to show you guys something right now if you go to print string and if you bring this right to your pitch you'll see that this value can easily change based on where you're looking so i'll compile and save and just for simplicity i'll show you guys this isn't actually what you want to do but i'm going to show you guys how it works so if you look all the way up you'll see that your pitch is 89.67 around there and right now we don't actually have our aim offset working but if you look down you can see minus 89 so essentially it's going between the same value we predetermined for our aim offset negative 90 to 90. This is perfect. This is all we really want. And of course it blends anywhere in between based on where you're looking at that specific moment. So this all works for us. This is great. We want to get rid of this. And now we basically want to get our pitch value that we created and promoted to a variable earlier and hook that up straight into our pitch, just like so. Now, all we need to do is go into our level and let's go right here and we can play from here and we can look down. And as you can see in that shadow, we are actually looking down. But if you want to get a better representation, you can always uh, let me let me set this up a little bit better so you can look down like this and go out of the camera and if you go out of the camera you can see that now we are actually rotating downward looking downward if you then go back in and look up you can see that once you go out of the camera you can see our spine is looking up so this is a great way to actually handle all of this 
and it also will look very good in multiplayer. So there's also a blend up in between. So for example, if I was looking at this value right here, we're not looking all the way up or looking all the way down. You can see that the character it has its spine orientated upward, not all the way up. Um, the same thing for if we're looking down, for example, right there. If you go out, you can see that the spine is orientated a little bit downward, but not all the way downward. Just realistic slouch, kind of if we were doing it in real life. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was a short one, but it also is very good for adding realism to your game. Remember, if you want to get these files, as well as all the other things you're seeing here with the crouch system, walking system, our health, healing, and damage, our inspectable note, our inspectable items, the puzzles, everything that you're seeing, as well as the character, it will all be available on Patreon in the link down below. Also, if you're having any problems with any of these tutorials that I have, whether it be this one today with the aim offset or any of our other tutorials, you can always go to our Discord, which is also down below, and we can try to help you there anyways thank you for watching please like subscribe and comment down below and i will see you guys in the next tutorial